We support you so that you can support the environment. Being a bat worker is in your DNA and as a bat worker, you should feel confident that you can undertake your role safely. It is your safety as an individual that comes first over anything else. When you work with bats, working at height is inevitable. A bat roost can be two to seven meters from the ground. Working at height includes any situation where a person could fall and suffer injury. It is one of the biggest causes of major injury or fatality in the UK. You can fall around buildings or trees when using a ladder or traversing a roof space or if the floor of an underground space gives way. When using a ladder, make sure that it meets EN 131 standards and is fit for purpose. Be aware of blind spots, movement of people and vehicles and weather conditions and exposure to the elements. And consider also the material that the ladder is supported by. When scaling a tree, place the ladder against the sound trunk, not the limbs. Tree professionals can check tree health using a range of methods. You can also check by looking out for cracks, rot holes, loose bark, fungal fruiting bodies and poor growth habit. If you are scaling a tree, it is advisable to have an assistant hold the ladder. You should be prepared with a safety helmet and a bag for equipment. Other hazards that you should be aware of are trees, branches, uneven ground, thorns and hanging or damaged limbs. Similarly, in and around buildings, consider what surface you are placing your ladder against. The HSE recommend placing a ladder at 75 degrees, one meter out for every four meters of height and extend one meter beyond the landing platform. Keep your body in line with the ladder and make sure your hands are free. Don't reach out either side and look for overhead cables and lines. Once inside a building, remember that wires and cables can be a hazard. Electric wiring can be draped over joists in the roof void. Avoid these and report them to the building occupier if you deem them to be unsafe. Other hazards can include asbestos, If you find asbestos, abort your visit and inform the building occupier. Take care around insulation, which can be irritating to your skin and respiratory system. It is advised that you wear coveralls, a dusk mask and eye protection when necessary. Another irritant is timber treatment, which is hazardous when you can see it and smell it. The wood in these circumstances would appear wet or moist. If you must undertake your visit, Make sure that this decision is aligned to post-treatment entry advice. Ensure that you always wear rubber gloves and full protective clothing and wash any skin that has been exposed to residue. Bear in mind that decay residues can persist in dust and debris. As a follow-on to the timber treatment, consider the possibility of woodworm presence. Be aware of how sound woodwork is in a roofoid. Along with rot and woodworm infested timber, you may also come across lath and plaster, plasterboards or corrugated cement sheets on the roof of industrial or farm buildings for example that are inherently brittle. A roof should be traversed via a crawl board or by carefully moving across sound joints whilst keeping a hold of trusses. Be aware of nails and splinters protruding from woodwork and of loose bricks and stonework. Protect yourself from injury by wearing overalls, tough gloves, industrial steel toe-capped boots, dust mask, baseball bump cap or hard hat, eye protection, head torch and carry a bag for all of your essentials. If necessary, make sure that you are accompanied by a site supervisor, especially in the case of demolition sites. For information on our health and safety related products, please contact us or view the range online. If you want to know more about us, follow our blog or join our flock on social media.